Hey guys, I'm gonna do just a real quick video on depression and I'm gonna start it with um, why I'm doing it. I was just in a meeting with a bunch of clinicians and we get together and we talk about different issues that our, our clients are struggling with and we try to problem solve the best we can and you know getting a perspective from a bunch of different people really helps as opposed to just a clinician practicing all by themselves and not having an opportunity to share it with other professionals uh, good doctors do that I'm sure good mechanics do that good plumbers do that it's always good to get outside input so we're talking about depression and it starts with this kind of psycho babble stuff it's stuff that we talk about but it the the Part of it that kind of irritates me is sometimes therapists talk in terms that make it sound so theoretical as opposed to what is concrete, what can people take from things and use. So that's what I'm gonna share with you real quick. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Dr. Jerry Grosso, the uh, clinical director at Insight Psychology and Addiction in Newport Beach, California. And my goal of these videos is to help you guys understand um, mental illness no different than you understand physical illness. Physical illness, you wanna get physical health. If you're struggling with mental illness or emotional illness you really want to get to emotional health that stuff we need to talk about stuff we need to work through because life can get much more enjoyable there's difficult things out there but it doesn't have to stay that way so uh, talking about depression you know theoretically it came up well you know depression is really anger turned inwards okay so that's based on a couple of theories that, that people identify that or that theorists and and clinicians identify is that and you guys may already know this but you know that depression is really anger manifesting itself in inward where people are taking anger that they have on outside things out on themselves now I'm gonna take it further and look at it okay what about anger why is that person anger well or angry we all struggle with anger it's a it's a normal emotion but then again psychobabble psych, psychology you hear well that's a surface emotion so I want you guys to kind of think about it you may have heard this example before you have a big iceberg the part you see above the, the water, you think, oh, well, that's huge. Well, that's anger, but really below the surface, there's a lot more stuff. The iceberg is way bigger under the water, and that is the same with anger. So let's kind of break this down to what we can actually do with this. Okay, let's say I can acknowledge I'm depressed. Well, what's depression real quick? Um, it could be like the symptoms. You know, I, my mood is very low most of the day for most days. Um, I have poor concentration. I have difficulty um, or disturbance of my appetite, sleep. Um, you know, and, it, and it's hard to focus and overall my mood just might be bad. Okay, so I can identify, let's say I have some of those, maybe it's depression. Then I can look at it, yeah, maybe I am angry and I'm frustrated. Well, there's actually other emotions that are below the anger and we kind of narrowed it down in our conversation to two. I'm not saying these are the only two, but these are two big ones. One is fear and the other is hurt. So I might look at it, feeling kind of down and depressed why well maybe I'm kind of angry and, and frustrated with certain things um, and what's underneath that anger well it could be hurt and it could be um, fear so now let's kind of look at a solution what, what where can I go with that let's just say that's true what is the opposite of fear opposite of fear is courage what is the opposite of hurt the opposite of hurt could be strength okay so this is something that I'm hoping maybe you guys can kind of think about a little bit and take it with you. We can build on it and talk about it more in another video, but if I'm struggling with anger, I might look at it. Is something going on in my life, a relationship, or a incident or interaction with somebody, or just kind of where I'm at, and I'm feeling some fear? I would want to identify what that fear is, and then I would want to think about courage. What is the courage that I could use to overcome that fear? okay and if it's hurt if I was hurt by somebody else whether it's somebody in my past somebody in my present or I'm hurt by something I could look at it what was that hurt and what is the strength that I need to develop to get over that to make sure it never happens again so again the, the point of this video I know it was short I just want to get it out to you guys that if I'm struggling with something like depression I look at okay depression below that I have anger below that I might have fear and I might have hurt and really what I need to focus on is on courage and I need to focus on strength those do take work and it takes effort therapy can be more complex than that but I at least wanted to give you some things to think about so again this is Dr. Jerry Grosso from Insight Psychology and Addiction in Newport Beach California if you guys have questions for me please feel free to send them in you can reach us at info at insightrecovery.com that's uh, n-s-i-g-h-t recovery.com and again until I see you guys uh, in the next video, uh, continue to grow.